Hi, this is Sean Bodley, um, known affectionately as Power HA Guy. I'm an IBM Power Champion that is also a senior IT consultant for Clear Technologies based out of Dallas, Texas. And this demo that I'm about to perform is the result of a joint partnership with the ITSO. This is going to be performing a snapshot migration from PowerHA version 713 to PowerHA version 721. Now, out of all the migration methods, um, this will probably be one of the least common methods to use. However, regardless of which migration method you use, uh, you should always make a snapshot of the cluster prior to migrating. So with that being said, let me give an overview of the steps required to perform a snapshot upgrade. Now, I'm listed here that this consists of stopping the cluster on all nodes. This means that this will be a cluster outage. Um, then it says create a snapshot. Um, you can really create a snapshot anytime. It's just that it's useful to create a snapshot right then because you know it's the most current um, copy of your configuration. If you need to upgrade AIX, go ahead and do so and reboot. Now with a snapshot migration, you actually deinstall the previous version of HA and then reinstall the new version. After you install the new version, you convert the snapshot using a similar command as shown below. The minus V is what version your snapshot is in and the minus S is the name of the snapshot itself. The snapshots are usually saved in user ESS bin cluster snapshots. Then after you convert the snapshot you restore the cluster configuration which will uh, recreate the cluster uh, and sync the cluster configuration to all nodes in the cluster. Then you restart cluster services one node at a time. If you use the CL manager command, which I do a lot of, to restart the cluster, it essentially starts one node at a time anyway. So let me show just a quick overview of my demo cluster. It's a two node hot standby cluster config with a single service IP address and volume group. Starting with PowerHA713 with Service Pack 5 and AIX Level 7.2 SP2. Then after the upgrade, only my HA level changes because I will not be updating AIX in this demonstration. Uh, so we'll end up with the GA level of 7.2.1. Then just real quick, here's um, some additional links. If, um, if you're watching this, you're probably already on my YouTube channel. Otherwise... Um, look into the PowerHA wiki that has a lot of good information in it, all these demos, um, and it's pretty good for one-stop shopping. So now let me switch over to my recorded demo of actually performing a snapshot migration on my demo cluster. So you can see I got 7135, my cluster is stable, Jessica is the primary node up top, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to stop the entire cluster. So this is going to stop both nodes. Once everything is in the st init mode, as you can see now, then the cluster is down on those nodes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the right thing and create a new cluster snapshot. So I'll go to snapshot, create, I'm going to tell it this is for my 7135 upgrade demo. And this runs very quickly, just a half handful of seconds to create a snapshot. So now I've got my snapshot to use. Now what I need to do is go ahead and deinstall HA on both of these nodes. So I'll start removing on Jessica, then I'll come over and do the same thing on Jordan.
that first time I left the uh, the preview on to remove the cluster, uh, then I disabled preview only, and it's running now. So the remove is done on Jessica. So while that is still running on Jordan, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my 721 install images directory and start installing HA721. Uh, I typically don't install everything. Uh, I usually install pretty much only the things I know I need, the client CSPOC, the server. Um, there is new GUI stuff, so that's what the SMUI is here, is for 721. I'll go ahead and tell that to install. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much going to be license, some man, and messages, and that's about it. And I think that's probably going to do it. Let me just keep looking. I don't think there's anything else here. I have Enterprise Edition install images, so that's why there are so many file sets listed here. Uh, I'm not installing it, but I do have the images available. All right. So now that I've chosen them, I'm just going to do a preview, make sure there's no complaints. Of course, I accepted license agreements again, and now I'm going to turn preview off and let that go ahead and install. And now I'm going to do the same thing on Node Jordan while that one is running. So instead of waiting for this to pick everything off the list, I'm going to bump up just a little bit in time speed this along okay so no Jessica has finished while Jordan is still installing I switched over to the user ESS bin conversion directory to run CL convert snapshot I'm uh, checking my snapshots directory just to make sure I get the name of the snapshot correct. So I'm telling it I'm converting from version 7.1.3 and this is the name of my, oh, I don't have to put the full path in there. Let's go back. I'll just tell it to go back and snapshots. It defaults to being in the snapshots directory anyway, but I like to tell it where it is. And what this will do is this will actually create a copy of the existing one and name it .old. And then when you, you choose to apply it, you can choose the original name here. So now I'm going to go in to restore the cluster config. I'm going to go to Nodes and Networks, Manage the Cluster, Snapshot Configuration, Restore the Config from a Snapshot. Now, something else I haven't shown while this is running is that uh, because you're deleting and recreating uh, the cluster is, of course, CLComD should be running from the install. It's probably a good thing to uh, check that. Since the uh, cluster existed before and we didn't, quote, remove the cluster, the CAA cluster still exists. Uh, so it doesn't technically have to recreate the CAA cluster, but when it's doing the restore the config, it kind of goes through the motions like it is. Um, so now the cluster has been restored. About the only time you'll see this state of not configured is when it's a new cluster and the cluster services haven't been started on that node. So now I'm just restarting the cluster. Alright, so Jessica's coming up. 
now stabilized, has the resource group, and Jordan is joining the cluster. And we're all stable. So I can check and see that my HA level is showing uh, 721 and that my CL version is, um, oh, let's see, the version release, oh, I know what it is. Let me go and uh, I'll just do level. So that tells me I have no fixed packs because this is, of course, the the GA level, and then I will show the CL version, which is 17. So 17 is synonymous with 7210. And now I can just show you the same thing on No Jordan, that also is 177210. And in a nutshell, that is it. So the, the cluster has been upgraded. Uh, it was recreated, restored, and restarted. So, of course, uh, just like before, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me comments uh, here. Or feel free to send me an email at sbodily at cleartechnologies.net. And thanks for watching.